Space has been a subject of interest for humans for centuries. There are several reasons why space exploration and the mysteries of the universe capture our imagination. Firstly, space is vast and unexplored, and it's natural for humans to want to explore the unknown. As we discover more about the universe, we gain new insights into the origins of the universe and our place in it. This knowledge can help us better understand our world and ourselves. Every so often, though, NASA captures a mysterious image that leaves us with more questions than answers. The mysterious aircraft seen in the background during Apollo 9. According to enthusiasts who investigate the unknown, during NASA's Apollo 9 mission, a picture was taken that allegedly shows a mysterious object above Earth. Those who've studied this phenomena have said that the photo is believed to be proof of advanced life forms visiting Earth. During a practice run for the historic moon landings, some enthusiasts have pointed out a small black triangle that appeared to be hovering among the clouds. The image has caused much intrigue and speculation among both researchers and casual observers alike. Apollo 9 was a manned space mission launched by NASA on March 3, 1969. The primary objective of the mission was to test the lunar module in Earth orbit to ensure it was ready for use on the moon. It was the first crewed flight of the lunar module, which had been under development for several years. The crew consisted of three astronauts, Commander James McDivitt, Command Module Pilot David Scott, and Lunar Module Pilot Rusty Schweikart. During the mission, the astronauts spent 10 days in space, orbiting the Earth and conducting a series of tests and experiments. One of the main goals of the mission was to test the docking and separation procedures between the command and lunar modules. The astronauts successfully separated the two modules and then docked them back together multiple times. They also performed a spacewalk to test the suits and tools that would be used on the moon. In the background of one of these photographs, a mysterious object in the shape of a black triangle can be seen. Interestingly, this isn't the first time that astronauts and military officials have reported seeing these aircrafts. Black triangles are a type of unidentified flying object that has been reported by witnesses across the world. These objects are characterized by their triangular shape and are often described as silent or nearly silent. Reports of black triangle sightings have been recorded since the 1561 celestial phenomenon over Nuremberg, but they gained more widespread attention in the 1980s and 1990s. One of the most famous reports of a black triangle occurred in 1983 in Belgium. Over the course of several months, numerous witnesses reported seeing a large, triangular-shaped object flying low over the countryside. The Belgian military eventually deployed F-16 fighter jets to intercept the object, but they were unable to catch it. The Belgian government conducted an investigation into the sightings, but was unable to explain what the witnesses had seen. Similar sightings have been reported in space by astronauts, detailing that these advanced-looking aircrafts were witnessed above the United States and the United Kingdom. In many cases, witnesses report that the black triangles they saw were larger than any known aircraft and capable of hovering silently in the sky. Theories about the origins of these black triangles range from experimental military aircraft to advanced visitation. Some researchers speculate that the craft could be part of a secret military project, such as the rumoured TR-3B, a supposed top-secret reconnaissance aircraft developed by the United States Air Force. Others suggest that the objects could be advanced spacecrafts, or some other form of advanced technology, beyond our current understanding. Despite numerous reports and investigations, the true nature of black triangles remains a mystery. The lack of concrete evidence or a clear explanation for the sightings has led many to speculate about the possible origins of these mysterious objects. Some argue that the continued sightings of black triangles suggest that we are not alone in the universe and that other intelligent beings may be monitoring our planet. As of right now, believers have used photographs like this as evidence for these aircrafts existing. These black triangles remain a fascinating and perplexing phenomenon that continues to intrigue and captivate people across the world. A strange discovery on Mars. This photograph was just posted to social media, with people labelling it as either a feather or a leaf, 
and said that it was found on the surface of Mars. The strange object was spotted in a Gigapan image of Mars. Gigapan Mars photos are high-resolution images of Mars captured by the Mars rover missions and processed using the Gigapan imaging technique. These photos allow scientists and the general public to explore and study the surface of Mars in unprecedented detail. The Gigapan technique involves taking multiple high-resolution images and stitching them together to create a single, seamless panoramic image. This process results in an image with extraordinary detail and clarity, allowing for a comprehensive study of the Martian landscape. One of the most significant benefits of Gigapan Mars photos is their ability to provide a wealth of information about the geological history of Mars. By examining the images, scientists can identify and study the different rock formations, craters, and other geological features on the planet. This helps scientists understand the geological processes that shaped Mars and can provide insights into the planet's past and present. Gigapan Mars photos also offer unique opportunities to explore Mars in a way that was previously impossible. The images allow viewers to zoom in and examine features in great detail, such as the texture of rocks or the shapes of dunes. This provides an immersive and interactive experience for the public to explore Mars as if they were there in person. Due to this photograph recently being shared online, not much information is known about it. But the user who submitted the image to a group that investigates Mars anomalies said that it either looks like a leaf or spikes protruding from the rock, further saying that it sticks out against the backdrop of Mars. As of right now, there's various people who believe that Mars is home to mysterious artifacts, pointing out that many of these objects don't look like natural formations. The Strange Object Above the Moon In November 1969, NASA launched the Apollo 12 manned lunar mission, which proved to be successful by landing humans on the moon for the second time in history following Neil Armstrong's historic leap. Interestingly, a few years back, Online researchers came across a strange discovery in the background of one of these images. The photo in question has been re-examined, and believers have said that they've spotted a mysterious object in the frame. The discovery of the alleged object in the archive photo has piqued the interest of many individuals who have been following developments in space. Despite the extensive investigations carried out by NASA at the time of the mission, there may be several unexplored aspects of the event that could hold clues as to what this object is. According to users who've spent countless hours looking over the photographs, a strange object in the shape of a disc was reportedly seen hovering over the horizon while at a tilted angle, much like the description provided by those who've allegedly encountered these aircrafts. Those who've seen the image have said that the astronauts who observed this object must have been astounded, since there isn't much to see on the moon apart from dust and rocks. The size of the object and the fact that it was hovering would have been a mesmerizing sight for the crew. According to online researchers, there is a very low possibility that the object in question is a glitch on the camera. In other words, they imply that the object is more likely to be real and not just an artifact. Not everyone agrees with this statement. The phenomenon of mysterious aircraft sightings has been a topic of great interest for decades. While many sightings occur on Earth, there have also been numerous sightings in space, including around the International Space Station and during space missions. These sightings have sparked debate and speculation about extraterrestrial life. The sightings of these mysterious objects in space have raised many questions and sparked debate about the possibility of extraterrestrial life and the existence of intelligent alien civilizations. While there are many possible explanations for these sightings, including space debris, optical illusions, and even secret military technology, the mystery of these objects in space continues to capture the imagination of people around the world. The Strange Mars Photo This photograph was posted to a social media page that investigates Mars anomalies, with those who saw the image saying that it looks like a skeleton. Mars, also known as the Red Planet, has long been a topic of fascination for scientists and space enthusiasts alike. As a planet that is relatively close to Earth and has many similarities to our own, Mars has been the subject of numerous missions and studies over the years. Among the many things that have captured the interest of researchers 
are the various anomalies that have been observed on the surface of the planet. One of the most intriguing anomalies seen on Mars are the so-called bones that have been photographed across the planet. The pyramids of Mars, on the other hand, are a set of three large triangular structures that were first observed in 1976 by the Viking One orbiter. These structures are located near the Martian equator and have sparked a great deal of speculation about their origin and purpose. Some researchers have suggested that the pyramids are evidence of an ancient civilization on Mars that may have had connections to ancient Egypt on Earth, while others have argued that they are simply natural formations. Other anomalies observed on Mars include strange geometric shapes, unusual patterns in the Martian soil, and unexplained lights that have been observed on the planet's surface. Some of these anomalies may be the result of natural processes, such as wind erosion and mineral deposits, while others may be the result of human error or misinterpretation of data. Despite the many theories and speculations surrounding the anomalies on Mars, the scientific community generally agrees that further investigation is needed in order to fully understand their origins and significance. As of right now, more investigations are needed in order to get to the bottom of what these photographs depict. Something mysterious near the galactic center is flashing radio signals. Developing our understanding of space and the universe beyond our own little world is not a new concept or mission. However, we have certainly come a long way since mapping out our directions with the constellations above us. Within the last few decades, our research into space has taken incredible leaps and bounds, with greater high-tech, state-of-the-art equipment being produced and a whole team of highly educated researchers on hand, it is not surprising to see that we can now spot tiny things in images and observations that we would never have even known were there just a few years ago. One recent case is a possible source of radio signals being discovered. A radio signal named ASCAP J1736082321635 has been discovered close to the center of our galaxy, according to the paper accepted for publication in the Astrophysical Journal. So far, reports have identified some peculiar aspects to the radio signals, though a particular cosmic object is yet to be tied to the signals. Ziteng Wang, the lead researcher of the team of astronomers, based at the University of Sydney, Australia, laid out some of the strange, unexpected characteristics. We have presented the discovery and characterization of ASCAP J1736082321635, a highly polarized variable radio source located near the galactic center and with no clear multi-wavelength counterpart. Further on in the statement, the team explained that this radio signal may be an indicator of a new class of object that we can now discover through radio imaging surveys. This means, in short, that we are not entirely sure what this is yet. It may be a cosmic object that we are already familiar with, or it may be something new entirely. It is understood that if these radio signals are indeed tied to an object we already know exists, then we are prepared to reshape the definition of said object as this particular one is demonstrating a few unfamiliar traits. Some of the more unusual parts of this said object that we are yet to observe elsewhere include odd radio circles, though we are awaiting an explanation as to what these are. Other aspects include its variability. At some points, radio waves will be emitted for weeks on end before disappearing entirely on an unpredictable timescale. Another odd part is the highly polarized nature. The object in question's electromagnetic wave is twisted both linearly and circularly, producing some rather odd oscillations. ASCAP J1736082321635 was revealed by the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder, or ASCAP. ASCAP is one of the world's most sensitive radio telescopes. It is designed for us to delve deeper and further into space, finding some answers and often some more questions about the radio signals out there. Not only is the data we do have confusing, but it is impressive that we have gained any at all. The said object is seemingly very difficult to find, as it went unnoticed in all prior ASCAP research, with surveys just gliding over it. Between April of 2019 and August of 2020, its radio signal appeared in the data set just 13 times, making it notoriously tricky to catch. Following the sighting of the radio signal, 
studies were conducted using different radio telescopes. The Murray Yang, located in Parks, Australia, the Meerkat, found in South Africa, and the Australia Telescope Compact Array, or ATCA. Murray Yang did not turn over any successful results, though in February 2021, the Meerkat picked up traces of it, as did ATCA in the April of this same year. While this is evidence to support the idea that this is where the radio signals are indeed coming from, the fluctuations of this and the lack of data on Meerkat and ATCA about it before the 2021 discoveries means the evidence is not overwhelming. Furthermore, X-rays and near-infrared observations did not show the source of the radio waves, never mind confirming that it was in fact ASCAP J173608-2321635. Overall, this is a brain teaser to say the least. Tracking down exactly what would be polarized and scattered in activity, but is also highly magnetized, seems to be proving an impossible task. Some stars do fluctuate in their radio wavelengths, though the source did not show up on X-rays nor near-infrared, whilst a star would. A pulsar has also been deemed unlikely, as these have highly regular timelines that they follow. The object so far does not align with many existing cosmic objects, though it does check a few boxes with the Galactic Center Radio Transients, or GCRT. Three of these were discovered in the 2000s. Numerous other signals are awaiting confirmation. So far, all we know is that these sources have some things in common with ASCAP J173608-232135 and could be a possible answer. Nothing is definitive yet, and even when it is confirmed, scientific opinions have to alter all the time in light of new research or better equipment. It is possible we won't ever be sure what the source truly is. Astronomers find barrier objects at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. Not a huge amount is known about the center of our home galaxy, the Milky Way. It is located 26,000 light years away from Earth in the Sagittarius constellation and is densely populated with stars, featuring 1 million more stars per light year than anywhere else in the whole of the solar system. But now a recent discovery has led astronomers to think it may be even weirder than we ever imagined. This finding emerged following a study conducted by the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Nanjing, where it seems as though some phenomenon is stopping fast-moving particles from reaching the center of the Milky Way. Not only are these particles fast-moving, but rather the fastest in the universe, making it all the stranger. The team used radioactive gamma rays, as they are the fastest, most energetic form of light possible, and are formed when high-speed cosmic rays collide with ordinary matter. While these rays cannot be seen with the naked eye, scientists can measure the density of these rays and particles to determine their whereabouts. Therefore, by using these gamma and cosmic rays, the Chinese team mapped the paths and presence of each. What they found was that towards the center of the Milky Way, there seemed to be something accelerating the speed of these rays, so much so that they come very close to the speed of light itself. However, while this creates lots of these rays just outside the center of the Milky Way, for some unknown reason these rays do not make it to the actual center of the galaxy. Given the speeds at which the gamma rays travel up to this point, the fact that they do not penetrate through to the galaxy's core is bewildering to say the least. There is no explanation detailing why this happens, however researchers are calling it the invisible barrier which they believe must be so dense and surrounding the center of the Milky Way that cosmic rays struggle to get through it. At present, this is the best explanation we have, but it will be fascinating to see what further explanations they come up with for this mystery barrier at the Milky Way's center. Tonga volcano eruption triggered atmospheric gravity waves reaching the edge of space. About 65 kilometers north of Tonga Tapu, the main island of Tonga, there is a submarine volcano named Hunga Tonga Hunga Hape. On January 15, 2022, the volcano erupted and created quite the spectacle. An international team of researchers from multiple institutions collaborated their abundant satellite data with ground-level observations to prove that Hunga Tonga Hunga Hape's latest eruption was unique both because of its magnitude and speed as well as the range of gravity and atmospheric waves it created. 
Previous to the January 15th eruption, there was a series of smaller volcanic events that began in December of 2021. January's eruption created a vertical plume that reached over 50 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. For 12 hours after this volcanic event, heat that was released from the water and hot ash was the most substantial gravity wave source on Earth. Satellite images show ripple-like gravity waves that extended across the Pacific Basin. Reverberating atmospheric waves that traveled around the planet a minimum of six times and reached extortionary speeds of 320 meters per second were also a consequence of Hunga Tonga Hunga Harpe's eruption. It's believed that such a large explosion was caused when large amounts of magma and water interacted. There is an extraordinary temperature difference between the water, which was around 20 degrees Celsius, and the magma, which is around 1100 degrees Celsius. With each contact, water would have been pushed deeper into the margins of magma, creating a larger surface area of contact and propelling more explosions in a chain reaction. Those who witnessed the eruption of Hunga Tonga Hunga Harpe reported crackling and noises like artillery fire from up to 90 miles away. Some researchers are warning that we may not have seen all of the repercussions of this phenomenal eruption yet. There is speculation that the Antarctic hole in the ozone will be negatively affected by the powerful atmospheric waves. This event affected such a large region that it will have an impact on how scientists view future atmospheric weather and climate models. NASA finds massive gravity anomaly buried under Antarctica NASA's satellites have noticed a gravity anomaly sitting within a 300-mile-wide crater buried deep underneath Antarctica's ice, seemingly consistent with the giant asteroid. Impact that caused the Permian-Triassic extinction roughly 250 million years ago. The asteroid triggered a mass extinction that lasted nearly 2 million years, starting volcanic flows and hotspots. This crater is estimated to be almost three times the Chicxulub crater's size, which is the asteroid impact that killed off the dinosaurs. Scientists believe that this crater was formed even before East Antarctica's coastal Cretaceous formation. NASA and the German Aerospace Center ran a 15-year-long mission to measure gravity anomalies throughout the planet and discover how its mass is distributed and changes over time. The joint mission was called the Gravity Recovery and Climate Experiment, or GRACE, and ran from March 2002 to October 2017. They sent satellites that would detect any subtle shifts in the Earth's magnetic and gravity fields. Gravitational force is affected by mass, so any changes indicate a redistribution of mass, something large enough to alter it. GRACE sent two satellites into orbit at the same altitudes, one trailing the other and circled the poles about 15 times every day. In 2006, a group of researchers examined data from these satellites when they noticed an anomaly below Antarctica's ice. Using GRACE's records, they determined that the anomaly was due to a massive crater that had been buried for millions of years, most likely from an asteroid impact. The discovery has instigated a flurry of theories, with the most popular being the existence of 1930s and 1940s German bases. Theorists claim that Germany built secret hideouts in the continent during that time, evidenced by the multiple entrances that exist around Antarctica. They argue that the Germans were building UFOs because the entrance's size required you to fly in a saucer-shaped vessel. In 1991, the KGB revealed classified documents from the US Navy's Operation High Jump, which proved they had sent numerous missions to the Antarctic during the 1970s. The theorists say that although the Navy claimed they were only researching the continent, they were there to investigate an entrance that supposedly led to the inner Earth. Thousands of sailors and crew were dispatched over the years, allowing rumors of UFO bases, German hideouts and portals to the underworld to grow. Scientists, though, argue that the mysterious anomaly is an impact crater. The massive Wilkes Land gravity anomaly is about 151 miles wide and reaches a minimum depth of 2,700 feet. Researchers believe that a giant asteroid could have impacted the Antarctic and initiated the Permian-Triassic extinction, which was the largest extinction of life in Earth's history. 
It killed 96% of all sea creatures and about 70% of the land-dwelling vertebrae organisms, much more catastrophic than what killed the dinosaurs. The collision would have caused drastic climate changes and created a challenging environment to live in, resulting in many species to have lost their lives. Since the crater is covered by miles of thick glacial ice, researchers have not been able to test it or pull samples properly. They have only been able to quickly inspect it based on its magnetic and gravitational anomalies. Scientists have no accurate way to figure out what is buried deep within Antarctica's ice, so it will remain a mystery until they do. So, what do you make of these unsolved mysteries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.